10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your gold pass at visitkingsisland.com. From Friday night football to the county fair, from picnics in the park to hometown parades, from big cities to small towns, we are proud to serve our communities. Last year, we volunteered 19,000 hours and donated $5 million to local charities. Because lending a hand to a neighbor and investing in the people and places around us is the right thing to do. We are Park National Bank, and we are proud to serve you. Member FDIC. Wins News Time, 926. Here's Bloomberg Money Watch. Southwest Airlines has built its reputation on being different than other carriers. No assigned seating, no fees for checking two bags per passenger. But now it's under pressure from Elliott Investment Management, an activist investor. So seats will be assigned soon. And it's surveying customers now on things like bag fees for those who pay the lowest fares. It's a recipe for disaster, at least for the brand and the mind of the consumer. Laura Reese, chair of Reese Positioning Strategy, says it brings to mind... The new taste of Coca-Cola. The infamous introduction of new coke coke was the real thing how do you change the real thing ultimately new coke disappeared and quickly reese says in this case this is very similar to southwest the real thing was that it was free baggage unassigned seats everyone the same she expects changes could produce a big consumer backlash regular consumers getting out there on reddit and twitter and all the others to really make a protest that you know you're changing my real thing bloomberg money watch at 26 and 56 past every hour i'm joan doniger for 10 and 10 wins on 92. I'm terrified of needles. Seriously, I can't handle them at all. Since my daughter has diabetes, if she has a low blood sugar emergency, I can give her Baximi, the only nasal spray that treats very low blood sugar. Baximi is easy to use and even better, no needles. Baximi is for people with diabetes ages four years and above. Baximi treats very low blood sugar. Do not use if you're allergic to Baximi, or if you have a tumor in your adrenal gland, as it can cause high blood pressure, or in your pancreas, as it can cause low blood sugar. Symptoms of an allergic reaction include rash, difficulty breathing, or low blood pressure. Get medical help right away if you have a serious allergic reaction. Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, headache, discomfort in your nose, eyes, or throat. Discomfort may include red, itchy, or watery eyes, itchy throat, runny, itchy, or stuffy nose. Baximi is available by prescription only. For more information, call 1-800-423-4136. Ask your doctor about needle-free Baximi today. Are you looking to cash in on every game this season? But cash the ticket, we'll try to have you covered and give you the best shot we can. I'm Mike Delaney, and we're breaking down college and pro football with the best betting advice we can provide you. Subscribe to Cash the Ticket now on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. You deserve sunglasses that can keep up with your active lifestyle. Whether you're on the water, hitting the trails, or soaking up the sun, Shade and Precision Eyewear provides superior protection and clarity. Life's too short to compromise on quality. Visit SeeBetterPlayBetter.com. If you have ever thought about remodeling your bathroom but were worried it would take too long or cost too much, then stop worrying. Right now, Jacuzzi Bath Remodel has designed a collection of high-quality custom products and perfected the one-day remodeling experience so you can enjoy your new bathroom faster than ever before. It's a worry-free bath remodel from the most trusted brand name in the business, Jacuzzi. A jacuzzi bath system fits in your existing tub space. It's a no-mess installation with an amazing style selection, factory-certified installers, and a limited lifetime warranty. Call 800-291-7154. That's 800-291-7154 right now and get 50% off installations with no interest and no payments for 12 months. Replace that old bathtub today with a walk-in shower for a safer bathing experience. If you have lived in your home for over 15 years, it's time to remodel your bathroom. For a virtual or in-home appointment, call 800-291-7154. That's 800-291-7154. 800-291-7154. AccuWeather says cloudy, humid tonight, a couple showers and thunderstorms, mainly after midnight with lows near 70. Tomorrow, a shower or two, even a thunderstorm, most likely in the morning. Otherwise, warm, still humid, more clouds than sun. The high for Sunday is 82. This is 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM, New York's one and only all-news station. I'm show Kabbalah. Winds News Time 930. Good evening, I'm Donna Vaughn. A deadly bus crash down south this holiday weekend. The victims included a pair of young siblings. Seven people were killed, including a six-year-old boy and his 16-year-old sister in Mississippi after a bus overturned Saturday morning on Interstate 20 
injuring dozens more. The NTSB says the crash was caused by tire failure. Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace spoke with WLBT-TV. It's terrible. Anytime you have anybody injured or killed, it's a horrible accident. But when you have multiple uh, fatalities and multiple injuries, it, it, it just compounds the tragedy. The coroner said the siblings were identified by their mother. Mississippi Highway Patrol says the bus was traveling west when it left the highway near Bovina in Warren County and flipped over. No other vehicles were involved. I'm Julie Walker. The names of the victims not yet released. At least 37 bus passengers needed a trip to the hospital after the crash. The winds news time is 931. Off to the roads now. Traffic and transit. Here's Susan Browning. Some issues on the cross island moving northbound. Looks like two or three separate crashes. I'm getting conflicting information. Uh, one uh, at the northern boulevard and the other right before the clear view. So the clear view is definitely the way to go if you want to avoid that issues on the cross island because delays in the cross island go back to around mm, the Grand Central or so. And a two car hit on the eastbound side of Queens Boulevard right before the LIE. And a two-car hit on the westbound side of the LIE itself. And this is before Shelter Rock Road. And now I'm seeing a crash on the ramp from the Verrazano going to the eastbound belt. And a two-car hit on the belt moving westbound just past Francis Lewis. And our bridges and tunnels are moving okay. Not seeing any major troubles there. But boy, we got all kinds of fun stuff this weekend. You've got the U.S. Open, of course. Reggae Fest at Barclays tonight. James Taylor at Jones Beach. A lot of things going on. If you wonder about the beaches and going to them and the quality, I've got a website for you. The NYC Beach Quality and Availability Map is at nyc.gov. I'm Susan Browning. Our next report at 941. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Let's uh, check the forecast now for the rest of this uh, holiday weekend and beyond the AccuWeather four-day forecast. Here's meteorologist Carl Erickson. Rather cloudy through tonight, still on the humid side with a couple of showers around, even a rumble of thunder, mainly after midnight, low near 70. And clouds, a few peaks of sunshine tomorrow. Well, not a total washout. There will be a couple of showers around, even a rumble of thunder, most likely during the morning hours. And we likely dry things out in the afternoon, high 82. It turns out clear tomorrow night, low 66. And fantastic weather for Monday on Labor Day. Lots of sunshine and noticeable drop-off in that humidity, high 78. And that pleasant stretch of weather will continue into two Tuesday with sunny skies and a high of 75. I'm Mackie with our meteorologist, Kai Erickson, on New York's weather station, 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. And right now we have 73 degrees, cloudy skies in Midtown. Winds news time at 933. A backlog of green card applications from foreign-born priests leads to a lawsuit. That story next. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest. Plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers. Coming in 2025, all for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. When's news time 934 a backlog of green card applications for foreign born priests and other religious workers has led a catholic diocese in new jersey to take legal action the lawsuit has to do with an abrupt change in visa procedures announced last year by the federal government one that means a longer wait for immigrant priests to get permanent residency so they risk having their temporary visas lapse while they wait the diocese of patterson claims the new rules now lump in religious workers in the same category as immigrant minors but doesn't allow for any more green cards in that category. Religious workers can usually get green cards after their five-year temporary visas expire, but the new delay puts that in peril, according to the lawsuit. A gruesome discovery in Gaza. The Israeli military reports a number of bodies, though they're not confirming yet who they were or what happened to them. President Biden was asked about it earlier. It's time this war ended. We should end this war. I think we're on the verge of having an agreement. It's just time to end it. Time to finish. 
Also today, a polio vaccination program began for children in Gaza. Israel agreed to a series of pauses in their fighting with Hamas ahead of a large-scale vaccine rollout. In the West Bank, though, more Israeli air raids. The IDF claiming they've killed 20 militants so far in what they say is a major counter-terrorism operation, but fears that the war in Gaza could be coming to the West Bank. We saw firsthand some of the destruction in Al Farah camp. Locals very much angry and picking up the pieces. Late last Last night, meanwhile, two car bomb attacks. The IDF saying a terrorist infiltrated an Israeli settlement. No civilians were killed. Correspondent Britt Klenid, that vaccine program in Gaza was prompted by the region's first polio case in 25 years. It was diagnosed in an infant who wasn't vaccinated because of the war between Israel and Hamas. A moment of silence held before today's Yankees game and at other sporting events around the nation in honor of a hockey star and his brother killed in a terrible tragedy in South Jersey. Tributes pouring in for NHL star Johnny Gaudreau and his brother Matthew. The brothers were riding bicycles Thursday night when they were struck and killed by an alleged drunk driver in New Jersey. You're charged now with two counts of second degree uh, vehicular homicide. 43-year-old Sean Higgins appearing in court Friday. Investigators say Higgins was driving recklessly when he attempted to pass a slower moving vehicle on its right side, hitting the brothers on bikes from behind. Correspondent Ike Ijochi, the accident happened in Oldman's Township, south of Philly, on the Jersey side of the Delaware River. It was less than 24 hours before the brothers were supposed to be in their sister's wedding party. Wins news time at 937. A new star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for a late star of the Rocky movies. 1010 Wins Entertainment next. Baseball season is heating up. Odyssey has you covered with the most entertaining coverage of your team. Stay locked in and in the know with the local voices you trust. Stream your favorite shows for free on the Odyssey app, odyssey.com, or on your smart speaker. You deserve sunglasses that can keep up with your active lifestyle. Whether you're on the water, hitting the trails, or soaking up the sun, Shaden Precision Eyewear provides superior protection and clarity. Life's too short to compromise on quality. Visit SeeBetterPlayBetter.com. Driving this summer in a new Honda. Act now during Honda Summer Event to save thousands with low 1.9% financing. Full inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans, and hybrids. With hybrids, the battery charges as you drive. Don't miss Honda Summer Event with big savings on gas or hybrid. Like the 2024 Honda Ridgeline. Now with low 1.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer. See dealer for financing details for well qualified buyers. Offer ends 9 3 24. Wins News Time 938. Now 1010 Wins Entertainment. A late star of the Rocky movies has just been given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Carl Weathers! The late actor and athlete was honored at a star studded ceremony on Thursday. He was a pro football player and also had a nearly 50 year acting career. Best remembered for playing Apollo Creed in the Rocky movies. What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Weather's son accepted the star on behalf of his late father. He, uh, he was proud of what he created. Uh, so am I. It's, uh, it's hard to imagine that he's not here. He died this past February at the age of 76. Correspondent Stacy Lynn wins news time 939. Thinking of Are you looking to cash in on every game this season? But cash the ticket, we'll try to have you covered and give you the best shot we can. I'm Mike Villani, and we're breaking down college and pro football with the best betting advice we can provide you. Subscribe to Cash the Ticket now on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Selling your home? Don't just sell out, max out. Sell your home once and get paid twice. Here's how it works. Max Out Homes buys distressed homes at current market value, offering an immediate payment. No delays, no hassle. Once that's done, our team of experts will maximize your home's value and offer you a piece of the profit. Whether through renovation, modernization, or resale, or short-term property rentals like Airbnb or long-term property management, we handle it all. And you get a percentage of the profits. For more information, call 800-800-5040. That's 800-800-5040. With Max Out Homes, you don't just sell, you get to profit from our strategy after closing we buy homes in poor condition foreclosures estate sales homes with reverse mortgages homes with non-paying tenants even land remember sell once get paid twice with max out homes call 800-800-5040 that's 800-800-5040 or visit maxouthomes.com 
Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, the ABC News presidential debate here at Live on 1010 Wins and 92.3 FM, Tuesday, September 10th at 9 p.m. The News Watch never stops. This is 1010 Wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good evening, 73 degrees at 940. I'm Donna Vaughn, and here's what's happening. Longtime New York radio personality and rapper Fat Man scooped dead after collapsing on stage Friday night in Connecticut. A commuter who says she was pushed off a moving Long Island Railroad train hitting the MTA with a lawsuit. Millions of Americans traveling over this three-day holiday weekend with the lowest Labor Day gas prices in three years. Cases of West Nile are climbing around the tri-state and two deaths in New Jersey after an early start to the season for that virus. And after a heavy metal performance that helped open the Paris Olympics, the drummer for Slipknot hopes his band might get to perform at the LA Games in 2028. And checking sports tonight, a game for the Mets. They're visiting the Chicago White Sox. Bottom of the eighth and the Mets have a 5-2 lead right now. Uh, earlier in the day was a 6-5 loss for the Yankees against St. Louis. AccuWeather says muggy tonight, a few showers around low 70. Then warm and muggy tomorrow, but sunshine and a lot less humidity for Labor Day. Wins News Time is 941. Traffic and transit now in Susan Browning. Well, checking all the East River crossings, things are behaving well. I'm not seeing any major issues. Ditto for the Hudson River crossings. Now in Queens, though, we have a couple of things going on. The northbound Cross Island, you've got two crashes, one between uh, them both between, I should say, Northern Boulevard and the Clearview. That's why you're experiencing some delays on that Cross Island. But, of course, the Clearview is always the way to go. That's the name. A two-car hit on the eastbound side of Queens Boulevard. Um, it's right before the LIE, and as well on the westbound side of the LIE itself, a collision that's right before Shelter Rock Road. And a two-car hit on that ramp from the Verrazano going on to the eastbound belt, and on the westbound belt, a two-car crash just past Francis Lewis uh, Boulevard. So we've got uh, some delays on the uh, northbound FDR. Just stop and go traffic from the 60s to the RFK Bridge. No major uh, troubles there. A transit note to pass along the northbound D trains are delayed while they address the mechanical problem at uh, Bryant Park. And I'm Susan Browning. Our next report's at 951. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. A word of the death of a longtime New York radio personality, one who is part of our extended family here at 1010 Wins. Rapper and DJ Fat Man Scoop collapsed on stage Friday night in Connecticut, apparently after suffering a medical emergency. Isaac Freeman, better known as Fat Man Scoop, was a fixture in hip-hop, New York radio, and known internationally. That is Skip Dillard, brand manager at 1010 Wins Odyssey sister station 94.7 The Block, where Scoop was an air personality. He spent a number of years across town at Hot 97 before that. The rapper turned 53 years old only a few weeks ago and was headlining a free summer concert at Hampton Town Center Park when he collapsed mid-performance. Scoop was best known for his 1999 club banger, Be Faithful, but has collaborated on other hit tracks as well. Here we go now. Here we go now. And that includes this song, It's Like That, by Mariah Carey. He also co-wrote and performed on Missy Elliott's Grammy-winning hit, Lose Control. Scoop's family posting a statement on his Instagram, calling him a radiant soul and a beacon of light on the stage and in life. Wins News Time, 944. Well, the MTA has been hit with a giant lawsuit after a bizarre incident on Long Island last month that left a commuter injured. It happened aboard a train as it was arriving in Brentwood. LIRR commuter Jennifer Summers is now on a long road to recovery. I have a torn meniscus in my knee. I also had a concussion. She's seeking a million dollars in damages in a lawsuit against the MTA after she says another passenger threw her off a moving train in July. Most of all, she wants to feel safe again. I want more security. Her sense of security was shattered when she says a belligerent man pulled the emergency stop lever as a train was pulling into the Brentwood station. And then started to yell at everyone that if they wanted to get off in Brentwood, that they had to jump off the train. Summer says that's when the man threw her out. Darius Ranzi is 1010 wins at 92.3 FM in Brentwood. Now, a suspect was arrested weeks later after Summers notified the railroad that she was going to sue. 51-year-old Eustachio Santana of Bayshore now facing charges, including assault. Now, according to the victim, the suspect thought the train wasn't going to make its scheduled stop in Brentwood, so he used an emergency control panel to open the train doors after pulling the brake. Her lawsuit claims none of the crew helped her when she was hurt, and then the train just rolled off while bystanders came to her aid. No comment yet from the MTA.
A warm weather fun across the nation this Labor Day weekend as Americans mark the unofficial end of summer. The record-breaking summer travel season continues, but it's not costing as much this year for people who are getting there by car over the holiday. Average gas prices this long holiday weekend are about 40 cents a gallon lower than a year ago. These travelers told me. It would help me and my family out a lot, you know, since we travel a lot. At the end of the day, that stuff can add up. It's ridiculous that the prices even got that high in the first place. Um, it felt good. You know, I got a little extra money. People seem to be taking advantage of the lower gas prices. Auto Club AAA says bookings for domestic travel this holiday weekend are running about 10% higher than this time last year. And in fact, gas prices are also lower than they were for Labor Day weekend two years ago. That was correspondent Jim Crisula. Meanwhile, at the airports, the TSA expects to screen more than 17 million passengers over the Labor Day holiday. Well, with the new NFL season about to get underway, the San Francisco 49ers will be without one of their new players. Rookie Ricky Pearsall was shot and wounded during a robbery in San Francisco's Union Square, reportedly targeted for his Rolex. The 23-year-old wide receiver is hospitalized in stable condition, and one suspect is in custody. Pearsall was supposed to make his NFL debut on September 9th against the Jets. He was the 31st pick in the NFL draft last April. A man who allegedly tried to storm the press area at the Trump rally in Jonestown, Pens- Johnstown, Pennsylvania, Friday night, now facing criminal charges. It happened just moments after Donald Trump criticized major media outlets for their coverage of his presidential campaign. And during the speech, the former president attempted to clean up remarks he made this week about an upcoming ballot measure in Florida that would overturn that state's near total ban on abortion. Trump now saying, I'll be voting no, meaning a vote in favor of keeping Florida's six week ban in place. The Harris campaign saying voters aren't stupid. Why don't they trust women? The Harris campaign announcing a new reproductive freedom bus tour across battleground states kicking off in Trump's backyard, Palm Beach, Florida. Correspondent Jacqueline Lee Trump also defended that controversial incident this week at Arlington National Cemetery where so many of the nation's war dead are buried, but the U.S. Army has issued a stark rebuke. The Army says in a statement that the campaign was warned ahead of time that political activity on that sacred ground was against the law and that a cemetery employee who tried to enforce the rules was, quote, abruptly pushed aside. The former president's Democratic rival slammed Trump as well. Vice President Harris saying his, he disrespected sacred ground for a political stunt. The former president has also been criticized by some veterans groups and the family of a soldier whose grave site was shown in Trump's photo op. Well, two more West Nile deaths being reported in New Jersey. The state health department says the number of human cases this year has now risen to eight, seven of which were hospitalized with neurological issues. On Long Island, meanwhile, health officials report another eight West Nile cases in Suffolk so far this year. The two latest were both in the town of Islip, but neither needed to be hospitalized. Although West Nile isn't uncommon here in the tri-state, health officials say they began seeing cases earlier than usual this year. The virus is spread by infected mosquitoes, so they advise that if you're spending time outdoors, you should use bug spray to prevent bites. Now, West Nile isn't the only concern with the spike in cases of several infections spread by mosquitoes. August and September have long been peak mosquito biting months in the United States. And Dr. Celine Gounder says that means... Mosquito-borne infections are on the rise. The CDC says more than 300 cases of the West Nile virus have been found now in more than 30 states. Plus, there's big concern over the mosquito-borne triple E virus as well. About 30% of people who get triple E die, uh, which is why it is so serious. And many survivors have long-term neurological problems. Correspondent Stacy Lynn wins news time at 949 traffic and AccuWeather in two minutes. You ever heard of Nalox? A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest. Plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers. Coming in 2025, all for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. 
Fantasy freaks and geeks. What's cracking? It's your boy, James Coe, back with my brand new project, the Sleeper King Football Podcast. Uh, Look, I get it, okay? There's a lot of fantasy pods out there, but we're going to keep this one light, 15 to 20 minutes, four to five times a week, and man, we are going to pack it with all the info you need, season-long, weekly projections, and of course, sleepers, sleepers, sleepers. Follow and listen to the Sleeper King Football Podcast on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. You deserve sunglasses that can keep up with your active lifestyle. Whether you're on the water, hitting the trails, or soaking up the sun, Shaden Precision Eyewear provides superior protection and clarity. Life's too short to compromise on quality. Visit SeeBetterPlayBetter.com. Have you Googled yourself lately? Are there negative posts from an ex-employee or from a former client? Maybe an outdated news article or sensitive personal information about your family? Search engines don't always get it right. But right or wrong, it's your reputation on the line. That's where Reputation Defender by Norton comes in. One of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. Reputation Defender has been fixing people's search results for over 15 years. Their cutting-edge approaches help you to wipe away unwanted information in your search results. They also promote the good stuff so that it rises to the top, helping you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave to the whims of a Google algorithm. Take control with Reputation Defender. You can start by getting your free Reputation Report Card at reputationdefender.com or call 800-933-1022 to speak to an expert. That's 800-933-1022. Wins news time at 9.51 to the roads now on this Saturday evening. Traffic and transit. Here is Susan Browning. Well, the only sore spot I'm seeing right now is the cross island moving northbound. You've got a crash right near Northern Boulevard that is being mopped up. Delays go back to around Grand Central Parkway. Hey, if you can swing that clear view, that's going to be the way to go. Uh, two car hit on the eastbound side of Queens Boulevard before the LIE. And now I'm seeing a crash on the westbound LIE. And that's right before Junction Boulevard. Uh, here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Not a whole heck of a lot. Things moving very well. Checking the Throgs Neck, the Whitestone. No worries. Willie B. Manhattan Bridge. Checking out okay. Brooklyn Bridge. No worries. The uh, Hudson River crossings are looking good. The tubes checking in okay. And the George is even behaving nicely tonight, y'all. We're looking at about 15 to 20 minutes for both decks in both directions of the George. The northbound D trains are delayed. They are addressing a mechanical problem at Bryant Park. And I'm Susan Browning. Our next reports at 10.01. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. All right, now cloudy skies and 73 degrees in Midtown. Let's check the AccuWeather four-day forecast, including the outlook for the rest of this holiday weekend. Here is meteorologist Carl Erickson. Mostly cloudy and humid through tonight with a couple of showers around, but most of those occurring late, low near 70. Then a couple of showers, even a thunderstorm around tomorrow, most numerous during the morning hours. Then clouds may break for some sunshine during the afternoon, high 82. Then we dry things out tomorrow night with clearing skies, low 66. Sunny and very nice on Monday for Labor Day with that drop off in the humidity, the nicest day of this holiday weekend, high 78. And still quite nice into Tuesday, lots of sunshine and a high of 75. I'm Mackie Weather Media. Meteorologist Guy Erickson on New York's weather station, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. Winds News Time 953. The entertainment at the opening ceremony in Paris last month featured something different for the Summer Olympics, an unexpected heavy metal performance. That gave goosebumps to the drummer for this band. And that is Slipknot. Now their drummer, Sean Crayon, known better as Clown to fans, says he hopes his band gets to play at the next Summer Games in 2028 in Los Angeles. In a new interview with Metal Hammer, Clown says Slipknot wants to be everywhere, maybe even the Grammys one day. Why not? Now the drummer says his band is friendly with Gojira, the metal act that played at the Paris Games, and he was proud to see the performance. A Team USA swimmer who won gold today at the Paralympic Games in Paris, and her family was there thanks to some help from rapper Flavor Flav. Flav donated to a GoFundMe for Olivia Chambers to help pay for her family to travel to Paris, and then posted about it on social media, which led to an outpouring of donations. Because of that, the swimmer's family got to cheer her on in person in Paris when she won the women's 400 freestyle today. Chambers is from Little Rock, Arkansas, and she has three more events coming up in person. The 50 free, the 200 IM, and the 100 breast. All those later this week. 
Well, the changing environment may make it easier for food to get you sick. Climate change may lead to a rise in foodborne illnesses. That's the findings of a study published by the American Society for Microbiology. They found that increased humidity is making it easier for the salmonella bacteria to thrive on plants. Salmonella already affects 1.2 million people in the U.S. annually. Correspondent Michael George. Well, it wasn't a message in a bottle, but renovations have turned up something similar during a renovation in Britain. Builders knocking down a column during a redesign at London's National Gallery have discovered a secret message left in it by a major donor when the column was first erected in 1990. Funder John Sainsbury writing, if you have found this note, you must be engaged in demolishing one of the false columns in the Sainsbury wing. Adding, he was delighted at the thought that the column he'd always thought unnecessary was history. Sainsbury died two years ago at 94. Correspondent Vicki Barker. Wins News Time 955. The restaurant industry is still working on its post COVID recovery. Bloomberg Money Watch next. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest, plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers coming in 2025. All for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. 50 Six now Bloomberg Money Watch. The restaurant industry has yet to see a sustained recovery, and it may not see one until sometime next year. Restaurateurs are being hit from all sides. Ingredient and labor costs have soared, and customers, regardless of their means, have cut back on dining. We're seeing a pullback by every strata of income. Michael Halen covers the restaurant industry for Bloomberg Intelligence. High-income consumers are trading down into places like Chipotle. Middle-income consumers are trading down. Low-income consumers are trading down into the grocery store. Fast food chain have made a big push to lure customers back. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Taco Bell, and others have rolled out meal deals. Subway is offering its foot-long sandwiches for $7 through September 8th. Despite all the efforts, restaurant same-store sales continued to deteriorate this summer, and many companies cut their sales guidance for the year. Low-income consumers have been pulling back for a year, but these numbers would suggest that some of the weakness is spreading potentially to the middle-income consumer. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Jeff Bellinger for 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. Wins News Time 950. Football isn't just a game, it's a game we're trying to win. I'm Jim Costa on Cash the Ticket. We help you turn every matchup into an opportunity, whether it's college football or the NFL. If there's action, we're on it. Get your winning edge with Cash the Ticket. Follow Cash the Ticket in the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. You deserve sunglasses that can keep up with your active lifestyle. Whether you're on the water, hitting the trails, or soaking up the sun, Shade and Precision Eyewear provides superior protection and clarity. Life's too short to compromise on quality. Visit SeeBetterPlayBetter.com. D7. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-511-3535. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes or overweight or have high blood pressure. Term Provider has helped thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-511-3535. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800 511 3535. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds too. Call 800-511-3535. 800-511-3535 or BigLou.com. Fantasy freaks and geeks. What's cracking? It's your boy James Coe back with my brand new project, the Sleeper King Football Podcast. Uh, look, I get it. Okay, there's a lot of fantasy pods out there, but we're going to keep this one light 15 to 20 minutes, four to five times a week. And man, we are going to pack it with all the info you need season long, weekly projections, and of course, sleepers, sleepers, sleepers. Follow and listen to the Sleeper King Football Podcast on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. W-I-N-S, W-I-N-S-F-M in HD1 New York. All 
always live on the free Odyssey app. Well, AccuWeather says cloudy and humid overnight. A couple of showers and thunderstorms around, especially after midnight, low near 70. Then tomorrow could start with some rain. Otherwise warm, still humid. More clouds and sun and a high 82. Labor Day, though, looks great. More people get their news from 1010 Winds than from any other radio station in the nation. James Boyce, it's our service aide. Beth Reardon at the editor's desk. I'm Donna Vaughn. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Winds at 92.3 FM, New York. Cloudy 73 degrees at 10 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Ashok Kabala, and here's what's happening. A rash of subway violence on the 123 over the past few days. In Oregon, a small plane crashed into townhomes early this morning. Humanitarian pauses will happen for a mass vaccination program in Gaza after polio popped up amid the war. The vice president put out a statement on the incident involving Donald Trump and his team at Arlington National Cemetery. A judge in Jersey says no to casino workers in Atlantic City concerned about their health. The Yanks lost to the Cardinals 6-5, to and looks like the Mets just finished off the White Sox. Yep, 5-3. to AccuWeather says cloudy, humid tonight, a couple showers and thunderstorms mainly after midnight with lows near 70. Tomorrow, a shower or two, even a thunderstorm, most likely in the morning. Otherwise, warm, still humid with more clouds than sun. The high for Sunday, 82. Wins News Time 1001, traffic and transit with Susan Browning. If you're sitting in a slight delay on that Staten Island Expressway headed to the Verrazano, that's because there's a crash on the upper deck right around the mid span, the Verrazano heading into Brooklyn. Two lanes are closed down. And as you head into Brooklyn, you've got that crash that was on the ramp from the Verrazano to the eastbound belt. That's been cleared away. I'm going to take that off my copy. There we go. But uh, we still have that problem on the cross island moving northbound near Northern Boulevard, a crash being mopped up. Now, there was another one on the northbound cross, uh, cross island earlier around Bell Boulevard. That one has been cleared away, and we're starting to see those delays ease up, going back to, well, past the Grand Central, uh, but starting to look much better now. And the uh, river crossings are looking at okay as well. I'm checking those Hudson River crossings. Hey, Lincoln and Holland looking good. George, Ch- George checking in okay, too. Both decks, both ways, no worries. And I'm Susan Browning, our next reports at 10 11 10 10 wins on 92.3 fm a rash of subway violence on the 123 over the past few days early this morning just after one on the northbound two as it approached the allerton avenue station in the bronx 31 year old victim was approached by a man who started an argument then struck him repeatedly with a machete injuring his arm and hand the attacker scurried off the victim was treated at a nearby hospital Friday night just before 11, a 16-year-old boy was on the southbound 2 as it was approaching the Simpson Street station when two suspects punched him in the face and scurried off with his cell phone. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. Friday afternoon just before 3 at the station on 72nd and Broadway, a 26-year-old victim was punched and slashed in the face. His attacker scurried off. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. And on Thursday night, just before 11, a 24-year-old man was approached by an unknown individual on the northbound platform at the Fulton Street station. There was a verbal dispute. Then the individual hit the victim in the back of the head with a closed fist and then scurried off. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. You can look for suspect photos on our website, 1010wins.com, and hit up Crime Stoppers with any information. Wins News Time 1004. We lost a talented rapper and radio personality last night. Rapper Fat Man Scoop has died after collapsing on stage at a show in Connecticut. The 53 year old artist topped charts in Europe with Be Faithful two decades ago and later continually called him a radiant soul in an Instagram post confirming his death. The New York-born rapper broke out with the 1999's Be Faithful, and it took off in Europe with the 2003 re-release, hitting number one on the singles charts in the UK and Ireland. I'm Haya Panjwani. Fat Man Scoop worked at our six, sister station. Family calls him a radiant soul in an Instagram post confirming his death. The New York-born rapper broke out with the 1999's Be Faithful, and it took off in Europe with the 2003 re-release, hitting number one on the singles charts in the UK and Ireland. I'm Haya Panjwani. 
Fat Man Scoop worked at our six sister station, 94.7 The Block, after spending many years on Hot 97. Winds News Time 10.05, the MTA is facing a million-dollar lawsuit filed by a Long Island Railroad passenger who claims she was thrown off a train while it was moving. Riding in fear, that's how Jennifer Summers now describes her commute on the LIRR. My anxiety levels can't really do the same things I used to do. She's suing the MTA after she says she was thrown off a moving train in July by another passenger. He just turned to me and choop. Summers says the man was acting belligerent moments before he pulled the emergency stop lever with the conductor nearby. He saw everything and even after the fact, even after the train did come to a stop, I have watched another guy bang on the door at the conductor where he was standing, where we saw him the entire time, yelling at him, pointing at me, telling him to come out, and nothing. She says in her lawsuit that the MTA failed to protect her. Darius Ranzi is 10 10 wins at 92.3 FM in Brentwood. No comment from the MTA on the lawsuit, but MTA police say they arrested Eustaquio Santana of Bayshore on Thursday in connection to the July incident. A small twin-engine plane crashed into a building of townhomes in Fairview, Oregon this morning and burst into flames. Multnomah County Sheriff John Plock. The plane hit a power pole, and so the impact of that appears to have caused some of the plane pieces to come off. So there's really kind of two crash areas. The power pole ignited a brush fire that didn't spread because it was in a swampy area. The uh, fire in the townhomes spread to four units and will likely displace five families. It's not yet known how many people were on the plane. One resident of the townhomes is missing. None of the victims from the plane have been found. The investigation's ongoing. Cloudy, humid, couple showers and thunderstorms mainly after midnight. The lows near 70. Tomorrow, a shower or two, even a thunderstorm most likely in the morning. Otherwise, warm, still humid, more clouds than sun. The high 82. The forecast from AccuWeather, Winds News Time 1006. Hospitals in Gaza say they received 89 dead today, including 26 who were killed in an overnight Israeli bombardment, along with 205 injured. President Biden spoke about it with reporters this afternoon. My staff has been in contact with the Israelis. They discovered bodies in Gaza. I'm not sure the exact number. They haven't taken them out yet. And uh, in the meantime, we want to identify the bodies. And what, there's a lot of speculation who they are, the names. After health authorities in the Gaza Strip confirmed the first case of polio in 25 years, a series of humanitarian pauses will take place for a mass vaccination program. It's not an exaggeration to call this one of the most dangerous polio immunization campaigns in history. UNICEF's Rick Perez told the BBC their goal is to vaccinate around 640,000 children across the Gaza Strip. It's a public health crisis that we're dealing with right now. Israel and Hamas have agreed to three-day pauses in fighting to allow thousands of UN workers to administer the shots, which begin on Sunday. Stacey Lynn with that report. They've already started to vaccinate kids ahead of the mass rollout tomorrow. A Catholic diocese in Patterson, New Jersey, is suing the government. They want a reversal in the visa procedures for religious workers, a rule they believe could threaten the status and future of foreign-born clergy here in the U.S. The lawsuit says four priest visas will expire next year, another in 2026. Many religious workers immigrate to the U.S. under temporary visas, which allow them to work here for five years, and after that they can petition for permanent residency under a special category. Cloudy, 73 in Midtown, going down uh, to lows near 70. We'll check traffic and AccuWeather next. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest. Plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers. Coming in 2025, all for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. Fantasy freaks and geeks, what's cracking? It's your boy James Co. back with my brand new project, the Sleeper King Football Podcast. Uh, look, I get it, okay? There's a lot of fantasy pods out there, but we're going to keep this one light. 15 to 20 minutes, four to five times a week, and man, we are going to pack it with all the info you need. Season long, weekly projections, and of course, sleepers, sleepers, sleepers. Follow and listen to the Sleeper King Football Podcast on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts.
You deserve sunglasses that can keep up with your active lifestyle. Whether you're on the water, hitting the trails, or soaking up the sun, Shaden Precision Eyewear provides superior protection and clarity. Life's too short to compromise on quality. Visit SeeBetterPlayBetter.com. I spray and scrub, but the soap scum in my bathtub is still there. I spray and scrub, but the burnt sauce on my stovetop sticks around. Sprays can leave grime behind, but Mr. Clean Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser combines the scrubbing power of an eraser with the cleaning power of Dawn to melt away tough messes on contact. Just wet, squeeze, and erase. Stop spraying, start erasing, and clean with more magic than ever with Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Diego. Hi, Diego. It's Jennifer Coolidge. You know, I just want to say your cashback match makes me feel so special. It really inspired me. That's great. Doubling the cashback you've earned at the end of your first year is what we do. Well, I'm doubling everything now. Double dating, double dipping, double feature, double header, double whammy. You know, basically double or nothing. You earn, we match. Discover cashback match. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. Calling all IT adventurers. Hunt for an ancient secret in this new text-based game from Eaton. Choose your path. Decide your fate. Can you escape the server room of doom? Play now at eaton.com slash doom. Hey, fantasy football owners, the road to winning your fantasy football championship starts now. I'm Matt Harmon from Reception Perception. Join me and James Coe as we take a deep dive into the position that's going to make or break your fantasy roster. Wide receivers. We analyze route running, target share, and all the metrics that matter, giving you the insights you need to draft the best wide receivers. As you prep for your draft, let us give you the coverage you need. Follow and listen to Reception Perception on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. So good. Wins News Time 10 11, traffic and transit with Susan Browning. A bit of a brake check on that uh, eastbound Staten Island Expressway, all due to a crash on the Verrazano. It's on the upper deck right around mid span, blocking two lanes of traffic down. Um, once you get over into Brooklyn, you've got a bit of a problem on that two car. Uh, I'm sorry, you've got a crash on the westbound belt. It is a bit of a problem. A two car hit just past Francis Lewis. And then on the westbound side of the LIE, a, a crash being mopped up mopped up right around Junction Boulevard. Those issues in the Cross Island are almost completely gone. We had a couple of crashes uh, on the northbound Cross Island and the nor- one near Northern Boulevard is still being uh, cleaned up. But as soon as it is, you're going to be okay. I mean, it's just a little brake check here and there. No big whoop at this point. Moving to Westchester County in White Plains, a crash on the eastbound side of the Cross Westchester Expressway. That's 287. It's right before exit 4 and that's Knollwood Road. I'm Susan Browning. Our next report at 1021. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Now the AccuWeather four-day forecast with meteorologist Carl Erickson. Rather cloudy and humid through tonight, aside from a brief shower this evening. Most of those showers holding off until after midnight, when there can also be a rumble of thunder, low near 70. A shower or two around tomorrow, even a thunderstorm, most likely during the morning. Otherwise, it turns out partly sunny in the afternoon, still warm and humid, high 82. Clearing skies tomorrow night, low 66. And for Monday, Labor Day, a beautiful day with lots of sunshine and lower humidity, most likely the nicest day of this holiday. A weekend high 78 and still nice and sunny into Tuesday high 75. I'm Mackie Weather Meteorologist Kai Erickson on New York's Weather Station 1010 Winds on 923 FM. Partly cloudy 73 in Midtown. Hey, fantasy football fans, do you want to be the owner who was doing a cram session the night before the draft? I didn't think so. You need to start your prep now. This is Faraz from Upper Hand Fantasy. Zach and I are here to get you ready for your fantasy football drafts with insights and advice. From sleepers to bust, we've got you covered and give it the upper hand on your friends. Today is the day to start getting ready for the draft. So join us and stay ahead of the competition. Follow and listen to Upper Hand Fantasy on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Dream.com. At Paramus Chevrolet, we understand that a car is more than four wheels. It's an extension of who you are. Hey, it's Mike Tandarella, General Manager of Paramus Chevrolet. Because everyone has unique tastes, we stock a large variety of certified pre-owned automobiles. So you're sure to find something you absolutely love. And it gets better. Enjoy our exclusive Paramus Chevrolet VIP Plus program. A lifetime of complimentary oil changes, courtesy shuttles, and loaner car availability. Visit us in person or online at Paramus Chevrolet. Dot com. Wins News Time 1014. Social media users in Brazil 
finding themselves without access to a major platform this weekend. Brazilian Supreme Court Justice Alexandre de Moyes has ordered the country's telecommunications agency to limit access to X, formerly Twitter. It's the latest chapter in a dispute with the platform's owner, Elon Musk, over the company's refusal to suspend at least 140 accounts, many of them right-wing pundits and lawmakers who question the results of Brazil's 2022 election. Musk says free speech is the bedrock of democracy. Mike Dubusky, ABC News. Brazil is X's fourth largest market with 200 million people. Wins News Time 1015. Kamala Harris put out a statement on the controversial incident involving Donald Trump and his team at Arlington National Cemetery earlier in the week. Vice President Harris is slamming former President Trump, saying that his team deliberately was filming in an area that was off limits in the Arlington National Cemetery. I'm going to read a part of the quote here. It says, let me be clear, the former president disrespected sacred ground all for the sake of a political stunt. She goes on to cite past comments from Trump about fallen soldiers accusing him of being, quote, unable to comprehend anything other than service to himself. That's correspondent M. Wynn. In a statement, the U.S. Army says participants had been told that federal law prohibits political activity at the cemetery and that a cemetery employee trying to enforce those rules was abruptly pushed aside. Wynn's news time, 10-16. Back to Brazil, Rio de Janeiro is notorious for street muggings, corrupt politicians, ruthless militias, and drug traffickers. The newest enemy, those claw machines, where you try and win a plush toy. Do you ever see anyone win one of those plush toys? Rio police carried out 16 search warrants targeting the machines, saying they defraud users who believe scoring stuffed animals to be a test of skill. Cops say they are, in fact, games of chance, just like slot machines, therefore illegal. Officers seized claw machines along with the plush toys and laptops, tablets, cell phones, even a firearm. They're investigating whether organized crime groups may be the invisible hand behind the claw because they already run slot machines in a popular lottery known as Animal Game across Rio. Back in May, Brazilian cops seized 80 claw machines Along with nearly 13,000 stuffed animals, they were going to be destroyed, but state lawmakers made a request, which led to a donation of the plushies to families who lost their homes in massive floods, particularly kids in shelters. In Atlantic City, gamblers will still be able to blow massive clouds of smoke in your face at casinos. There is still smoking at Atlantic City casinos after a ruling from a New Jersey judge. But casino workers who have been battling for a smoke-free workplace say they will keep fighting. The ruling was a victory for the casino industry, which warns that thousands of jobs and millions in gambling revenue and taxes could be lost if smoking were banned. The industry has been struggling since the COVID pandemic, and most of the city's nine casinos are making less from in-person gamblers than they did before. That's correspondent Allison Keyes. Wins News Time 1018. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest, plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers coming in 2025. All for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your gold pass at visitkingsisland.com. Our lives aren't like they used to be. They're busier. Early morning Zooms, grabbing coffee to make that in-office meeting, getting to your kid's soccer game on time. Life is different, and so is advertising. To reach any audience, you need your message out there in all media, broadcast to streaming, on screens, and right to the ears of your customers. And that's what we do at Odyssey. Let's build a media campaign that targets the customers you know and want to reach more of. Right here in our community. Advertise with Odyssey. Visit ads.odyssey.com. You deserve sunglasses that can keep up with your active lifestyle. Whether you're on the water, hitting the trails, or soaking up the sun, Shaden Precision Eyewear provides superior protection and clarity. Life's too short to compromise on quality. Visit SeeBetterPlayBetter.com. <laughs> What's wrong? My travel rewards card didn't earn enough miles for my vacation. <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying because of that other credit card? Uh-huh. Well, switch to the Capital One Venture card. Venture lets you redeem miles on any travel purchase. Really? 
Yep, and you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every single day. The Capital One Venture Card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Get in zone. AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Using the Labor Day weekend to get some work done? We got you. Stop by any store to save on oil, fuel system cleaner, wipers, and more. Looking for an end of summer wash? We've got deals for that too. Don't want to leave the garage? Get same day delivery on AutoZone.com. Do Labor Day your way by getting something done at AutoZone. Get in zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, the ABC News presidential debate. Hear it live on 1010 Wins and 923 FM, Tuesday, September 10th at 9 p.m. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Partly cloudy, 73 degrees at 1020. Good evening. I'm show Kabbalah. Here's what's happening. A rash of subway violence on the 1-2-3 over the past few days. A first-round draft pick for the 49ers was shot late this afternoon in an attempted robbery. Rapper and radio personality Fat Man Scoop is dead after having a medical emergency on stage last night. A Catholic diocese in Patterson is suing the government over visa procedures for religious workers. Also in Jersey, the arraignment yesterday for the driver cops say was drunk when he slammed into NHL star Johnny Goudreau and his brother killing them. The Yanks lost to the Cardinals 6-5. to The Mets beat the White Sox in Chicago 5-3. to AccuWeather says cloudy, humid, a couple of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows near 70. Tomorrow a shower or two, even a thunderstorm, most likely in the morning. Otherwise, warm, still humid with more clouds than sun and a high of 82 for Sunday. Wins News Time, 1021, Traffic and Transit with Susan Browning. All right, I was just checking the camera on uh, the Cross Island Parkway. We had some issues there earlier, but now you're good to go. A couple of crashes, northbound, uh, one near Northern Boulevard, the other near, near Bell, and those are gone. As we move over to the Garden State, a two-car crash on the northbound side of the Garden State Parkway. Right around Route 82, you have one lane blocked down there. And a crash now on the Verrazano, the upper deck, Right around mid-spin, heading over into Brooklyn. You've got two lanes blocked down there. I'm just seeing minor delays uh, at this point because everybody's out of town except us. <laughs> so I'm taking a look at that uh, LIE moving westbound. You had a two-car crash right around Junction Boulevard. That's been cleared off the roadway. Our bridges and tunnels are checking in okay and seeing no major issues there. In White Plains in Westchester County, you've got a crash on the eastbound side of 287, and that's right before Knollwood Road. And I'm Susan Browning. Our next Reports at 1031. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Wins news time 1022. There's been a rash of subway violence on the 123 over the past few days. Early this morning, just after 1 on the, on the uh, northbound 2 train as it approached the Allerton Avenue station in the Bronx. The 31-year-old victim was approached by a man who started an argument, then struck him repeatedly with a machete, injuring his arm and hand. The attacker scurried off. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. Friday night, just before 11, a 16-year-old boy was on the southbound 2 as it was approaching the Simpson Street station when two suspects punched him in the face and scurried off with his cell phone. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. Friday afternoon, just before 3 at the station on 72nd and Broadway, a 26-year-old victim was punched and slashed in the face. His attacker scurried off. He was treated. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. And on Thursday night, just before 11, a 24-year-old man was approached by an unknown individual. On the northbound platform of the Fulton Street station, there was a verbal dispute. Then the individual hit the victim in the back of the head with a closed fist, then scurried off. The victim was treated at a nearby hospital. You can look for suspect photos on our website, 1010wins.com, and hit up Crime Stoppers with any info. Two moped-riding teens were killed on the Cross Island Parkway early this morning. Police say the teens were found right below me in the southbound lanes of the Cross Island Parkway under the 150th Street overpass. Their moped was laying right beside them. A 19-year-old woman was pronounced dead here at the scene, and a 15-year-old boy was rushed to Flushing Hospital but did not survive his injuries. Police say the crash happened just after 2 Saturday morning. Cops tell me that they're still investigating the cause of the crash, but they believe the driver of the moped lost control and struck the wall of the bridge here. 
Darius Ranzi's 1010 wins at 92.3 FM in Whitestone, Queens. On average right now, a gallon of gas is $3.33, 48 cents less than a year ago. Patrick DeHaan with GasBuddy.com says there are a bunch of reasons why. Gasoline demand has been relatively low. We haven't seen a whole lot of refinery issues like we did last year, which boosted prices as we approach Labor Day. In addition, hurricane season has been relatively dormant thus far, having no impact on gas prices, and the global economy has slowed down, easing global gasoline demand. At airports, the TSA predicted over 17 million people would pass through checkpoints during the holiday period. Wins News Time 1024. A first round draft pick for the San Francisco 49ers was shot late this afternoon in an attempted robbery. Mayor London Breed is confirming 49ers rookie wide receiver Ricky Pearsall was shot during an attempted robbery in the city's Union Square area. San Francisco police made an arrest of an alleged shooter. Pearsall was a first round draft pick for the 49ers. Sources are telling our San Francisco ABC News affiliate KGO the Pearsall is in stable condition. Alex Stone, ABC News. And this is 1010 Wins at 923 FM. We're a minute away from Bloomberg Money Watch. Wins News Time 1025. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest, plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing.